a wonderful night to have a curse. I mean... Oh, hey, oh, you finally arrived for my Galactic Quest. Joker, what are we doing out here? It's late, it's cold, and I'm tired and I, I, I want to go home. Sh 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 wait for it. Wait for it. See? It's daylight. <sighs> All right, then. Fine. He's in vanilla. Whoa! Oh, hey guys! Yeah, funny story, I was just kneeling by that wall over there, and all of a sudden this tornado just appeared out of just nowhere and just dropped me off here. Oh boy. That sounds really stupid and cryptic. Amazing! Now where's my honey bunny? Where is she? Is <laughs> the Earl wet? What happened? Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I had to hold on to this stupid crystal and I couldn't swim without looking down. I don't know how this stupid Castlevania world works. Hmm. Hmm. Oh boy. Eric, you need to ask where Alex is. <sighs> Alright, where's, where's Alex then? Alex? Oh. <sighs> this is hilarious. You ready for this? Someone want to point out I got garlic in my hand? Why do you have garlic in oh, your hand? Watch this. Ding, ding, ding. Donkey, what the? Ah, oh, wrong, wrong game. Hey guys. Alex, get over here. Ah. Fine, donkey. Okay, so now that you're all here, just uh, see. Originally, I was gonna have you guys join in my epic quest, but I decided to do it uh, on my own. Where's Toddy? That's exactly the thing. You see, yesterday I decided to kill him for no reason, and then I spread all really weird body parts, including his ear. One lens from his glasses, part of his hoof, and this one single strand of his hair. Wow. And I put them all into different castles for no other reason. And even wow. though they're my castles, I decided to tell the guards if I try to take these again, try to kill me. Wow. It's so fun, but I decided to get them anyway, and I had to throw stakes at them, which is really weird. Because sometimes the, the strand of hair here wanted to make a rare stake, which is odd. Anyway, so now we're going to throw this into this giant pedestal I have here. And watch what happens. Toddy will soon return, even though I'm not doing anything ritualistically. I'm just gonna throw them onto the table. Uh, Whoa! Ah, 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 ah. I live now, and now you'll feel my wrath and suffer the horrible. Oh my God! I'm stiff. I can't. I can't move. I. I did not wake up a century later to to hear that's what she said jokes. Those are so out of date. Well, you, what? Know, you, you could have been sleeping for a thousand years and they're back in date again. It's true, it's true. But you cannot hope to defeat me well, I'm because not, I'm not going to defeat you. Oh, well then, you, you want to do a blind meeting? Heck yeah, that's why I did this. I went yeah, all over, so I will just do a blind reading. This isn't the stupidest thing I've done, surprisingly. So! There was that other time. When you tried to bring back the zoo. No, 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 We don't want to speak about that. We don't want to speak about that. What's with this garlic smell? Stick with us, cause Jogger and the Banner Bots are gonna do it all. What's up, guys? Lama5 here, also known as Joker. And welcome to My Little Pony of Christmas Magic Blind Reason the Blender Bolt. Yes. I am love. With us, I just love in general. With us this week is Sydney, also known as her Butler Gothic. In reality, I was the one who stole the crystal heart. I needed it to float. Toddy Harold. I'm the equivalent of all the spaghettios put together. Vanilla Beam. I am never dressing up as a cockroach next to Rarity ever again. RC227, but we'll call him Alex. I lost track of what's going on. What happened? <laughs> and joining us again <sighs> is his first appearance in season four. Please welcome Aerodynamic, also known as DJ DJ! Yeah. Hey! Like I have him. to go to the bathroom. Oh. No. <laughs> Whole episode ruined. <laughs> because you have Death to go to the, the bathroom. bathroom. You had to go to the bathroom. We told you, you to go before. You ponies even go to the bathroom? We told you that yes. you to go before the reading started. In it's this world, days. do wow. we? 
Dude, you take a wicked <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. No. Mine take like two seconds. <laughs> Done. We can turbo turds there. Alright, anyway, if you haven't seen this show before, what happens is we take a random script from My Little Pony, Friend of His Magic, Season 4, and with our varied voices and impressions, we take on various roles given to us by each other. So, <gasps> this is very awkward because there's six of us this time, so I'm going to pretend that I'm a turnip. Not really, but. Oh! Ooh. I want this to be spectacular. I want this to be amazing. I want this to be. popular. As can be. You're so. You know what, for Act 1, I'll decide for Todd, Todd will decide for Vanilla, Vanilla will decide for Arrow, Arrow will decide for Alex, Alex will decide for Sydney, and Sydney will decide for me. So, I'm gonna take a second to choose the roles, this won't take long, hopefully. Until then... Impressions! Impressions! <laughs> Alright, we're back! So, for Twilight Sparkle, we got Sydney doing Jesse from Pokemon, for Spike, we're doing Ko from Rosario Vampire, for Rainbow Dash, we got Tandy doing Meow from Pokemon, for Applejack, Vanilla, we're doing Gilbert Copper, yeah. Number 4 is Iago from Aladdin, for Fluttershy, we got Arrow doing Richard Nixon, for Freddy, Arrow, uh, Alex, we're doing Baby Sinclair from that dinosaur sitcom, I had never watched it, for Pinkie Pie, I was doing Michael Jackson, for Plaza Plus, Vanilla, we're doing Yosemite Sam, and finally for Celestia, we got Aerodynamic doing Meatwad. So, without further ado, let's get to it! Thank you. Uh -huh. Ah, what's wrong, we? Uh, I've gone through every book in Ponyville, Spike, and there isn't a single mention of the mysterious chest that came from the Tree of Harmony, nor anything about the keys to unlock it. But then he tells me that opening it is pretty important. I hope Princess Celestia has some ideas. If the library in Canterlot didn't have anything, I... I... don't know where else to look. We <laughs> Dearest Twilight, it would be perfectly lovely to have you in Canterlot once more. I have another option in my much closer to Ponyville. As you know, the ancient castle I once shared with Princess Luna lies mostly in ruins deep in the Everfree Forest. But if you look carefully, you may find a book that could prove helpful to your research. Hidden somewhere in what's left of the castle library. Oh! Wow, look at all these ancient books. It's a veritable gold mine of information. I can't believe it. Woohoo! Whoa, whoa, wee! Uh, uh, so, uh, Mistress Jessie, uh, ready to head home? Wee! Are you kidding? This place is perfect! <laughs> My little bunny, my little bunny, my my little bunny, you're going to be 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 my little I'm not going to move, you move! Uh uh. There ain't no way that I'm moving. <laughs> this is the most daring dare any pony ever dare dare and never pony to dare. <laughs> huh? It's exciting. Ooh, your varmints, what y'all doing? <laughs> you see, Rainbow Dash and Applejack are competing for the title of most daring pony. And this is the final test, the B-Star. <laughs> the last pony to blink wins. What in the blazes? I'm gonna need my godforsaken bees back. But then we'll never find out who the most daring pony is. Tough tartar sauce, woo! Eh. Well, what do we do now, Jabba? Don't worry, girls. I've been keeping excellent score all day. Check it, Jamal. The move, the decimal, carry the two, and congratulations! <laughs> You're tied. Tied? You can't be tied for the most daring pony! I don't know. Numbers don't lie. <laughs> I love to stay and keep keeping score, but I promise to help test the new skill bell. <laughs> I get to ring it all week, not stop, and I don't even have to take turns because no one else volunteered. <laughs> okay, no problem. We just have to come up with another daring dare. Right. I think I have an idea on what we can do. <laughs> Ready? Don't you think it's a little late in the day to be walking through the forest? It is. Democrat season, after all. Though I'm very sure you have a good reason. Simply the most important reason I've ever had in my entire life. Brr, I'm happy to help, then. What is it? I've heard rumor that the castle of Natamama is filled with the most gorgeous of ancient tapestries in all of pony history. It pains me to think of those magnificent creations rotting away in those old ruins, totally unappreciated. Oh, 
Well, go on. Well, I require your help in barring one or two of them to bring back to the boutique where I can restore them. Maybe I'll even use the patterns as an inspiration for a new line. Oh, that does sound very important. Yes, well, <clears throat> maybe not the most important thing in my entire life, but retro ancient classical will be all the rage next season, and it's nothing to sneeze at. <laughs> oh, now, are you sure you need those tapestries? But, of course! Although, I must admit these ruins are a fright. Just look at all the dirt everywhere. Ugh. Oh, Agno! Goodness! It's practically an artistic treasure trove of ancient good taste. Hmm. Oh, Agno! You really shouldn't have run off like that. Ancient ruins are filled with all sorts of things that can hurt you. You could stub your toe or trip on a loose stone. You have to be careful. I don't think I need all these candles, Miss Twilight. I was really only for a scare for a second week. Oh, well, it's not for you, Sly. We're going to set it later tonight, and we're going to need all the light we can get to find Pikachu. Oh, great. Wee! Finding Pikachu this time only took a whopping 20 seconds. Wee! Well, here we are. Eh, what's so daring about this place? This is where we got the elements of harmony. When I was just a little chick, Aladdin told me of an ancient legend. When Jafar was banished, not every last bit of his dark magic went with him. Aladdin used to say, when night falls on the castle, that magic takes the form of the Pony of Shadows. I don't know why he was a pony, though. You mean, like a ghost? No, Pony knows! Ugh. <sighs> This one is perfect! Well, uh, it certainly could use some <clears throat> restoration. Uh, be a mama. Float up there and lift it off the hook. Aru! Maybe from below? I don't see what's so daring about an old legend. Plus, I don't believe in ghosts. You might want to rethink your position on that. Aru! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! You saw that, right? Run! Aru, I think I heard my jowls. Oh, my dear. Uh, I'm so sorry. That tapestry was far too heavy. We'll just have to find a smaller one. Ah, uh, of course. Where, pray tell, did you disappear to? What do you mean? While you were struggling under that fabric, the entire wall spun around. You must have activated a secret door. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose these ruins are chock full of them. Really? Yep. We must use the utmost care as we... Oh! Ah! Okay, so maybe the legend is true. Well, that's why I brought you here. I guess the only the most daring pony or bird of all could stay in this castle all night without being scared off. Scourge. Is scared? I'm not scared. I'm the top cat. Well, me neither. I'm Jafar's best bird. Then it's settled. Whoever stays in the castle the longest is the most daring top cat. Deal. Mm. But it's gonna take a lot more than some shadowy ghost pony to get me to leave. Me too. Hm. Find anything, Spite? Ah, uh, no. Sorry, mistress. Wee! Don't punish me. Wee! Agnew, what are you doing here? Whoa! The general of the two sisters. Maybe this is the book Giovanni was talking about. All right, that's the end of Act One. So, uh, uh, who was choosing for who as Act? Damn. I can't remember. So, oh yes. Damn it, Gilbert! Why do you have such a screechy voice? <laughs> I don't know, Jaffa. Anyway, for Act Two. It's because I have a glandular condition. For Act Two, I'm gonna decide for Sydney. Sydney for Alex. Alex for Arrow. Arrow for Vanilla. Vanilla for Todd. And Todd will choose for me. So. Thanks. Gotta take a second to choose the rules. Until then. All right, we're back. So for Rainbow Dash, I'll be doing Abe from Abe's Odyssey. For Rarity, we got Sydney doing Clementine from The Walking Dead games. For Spike, we got Alex doing Mike Rosowski from Monsters Incorporated. For Applejack, we got Arrow doing Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. For Fluttershy, Vanilla will be doing Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. For Twilight Sparkle, Tony will be doing Lumpy Space Princess, and for Angel, he'll be doing Ben Stein. So, without further ado, let's get to it. I sure hope you're not afraid of the dark, Applejack. Mew, 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 mew.
I can't say that I am. But even if I was, I'd be at least 50% richer than you, Rainbow Dash. Well, I don't know how all that math stuff works because I've been a slave for so many years. And I'm not scared. Me neither. Whoosh. Hmm? What's the matter? It's just a dark hallway full of disembodied Abe legs. Yes, nothing creepy about that. Yes. I'm starting to wonder if maybe this castle doesn't want my expertise. No more. Oh dear, Angel. Rarely have you seen him. I'm not sure he made the trip down with us, dear. Oh dear God. We have to find him. An ancient castle ain't no place for a bunny. He could easily get hurt by falling debris, or the floor could give out under him under his fat ass. Oh, he could be trapped under a dark place or something. I really don't care. Oh, I, can only, I can only imagine how he might feel. Mm. Applejack, if you're scared, you can just admit it. You don't need to put your hoof around me. Hmm, I'm over here. <laughs> I just remembered. Mr. Burns, you don't have hooves. <laughs> Bernie, yeah. what are you what are you freaking out about? I felt something alive. Lee? Is that you? Um, oh going. yeah! <laughs> it's Angel! <laughs> well, tapestries or no, I've had just enough about secret passages, mysterious presences, and unappreciative castles. Castles, castles. Come on, bro. We can't leave now. Not while Angel's lost out there in the dangerous old castle. He could be trapped under crumbling statue, stuck in a high tower, without food, water, or any friends at all. Om nom 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 nom. Oh my God, <laughs> Spike, you've got to hear this. I love her duck behind the paintings, and through the hall of holes still gives her a bit of a fright. The trapdoor slide is Luna's favorite. Oh my God. All the hooves. Soon the organ to the outside will be finished. I can't, oh my god, I can't wait. What's the organ to the outside? Is it the love boat? I have no idea. Mm -mm. Do you hear that? You mean the creepy sound of a haunted bike organ? Perhaps. Oh, no, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Alright, let's see end of act two, so... Wait, that was that fast. Yet? Yep, that was it. That was even shorter than the last one. <laughs> well, we're already. That's, what she said. that's how I organized it. It's like the second it. game, just filler. So, I'm going to be choosing for Vanilla. Vanilla will be choosing for me. Sydney will choose for Error. Error will choose for Sydney. Tati will choose for Alex. And Alex will choose for Tati. So, take a second to choose the Rollins. Until then! Impression. Woohoo! Alright, we're back! So, for Spy, we've got uh, my ear balls. Two. For Twilight, I'll be doing Gaston. For Fluttershy, we've got Tiny doing Sean Connor for Rarity. Alex will be doing Dr. Lollipop from what? I don't know. For Applejack, we've got Sydney doing Rarity. For Rainbow Dash, for Arrow, we'll be doing Prince Blue Blood. For Pink Vital, we'll be doing Silent Snake. And for Angel, I'll be doing Kermit the Frog. So, without further ado, let's get to it! Gee, Gaston! <laughs> Did you hear something? Oh, the fool! Quit being such a scaredy dragon! This castle is a thousand years old, and half of it was destroyed by Nightmare Moon who is almost as powerful as Gaston. Of course it makes strange sounds. It's practically falling apart. I I, if you say so. I mean, <laughs> no no one knows this castle better than you, Gaston. Yay! Crackers? Crackers? I'm sure we'll find him. Crackers? Yeah. Oh, sorry, Jim. Did you find crackers? Is he okay? They are perfect. No castle in its right mind could possibly uh, object to my restoring such exquisite works of art. Oh, uh, they're lovely, Sean, but I have to keep on looking for crackers. Oh, I hope he doesn't think I've given up on him. I'm right behind you. Won't uh, be oh, a moment, Sally Jim. Do you think there's a single room in this castle that isn't filled with terrifying things? Oh! Huh. Huh. It's just old pony armor. What's the big deal? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it feels like it's going to come to life or anything, right? Mm. Huh? Ah! Mm. Yep. Ah! Ah! 
Thunderbolt and lightning, very, very frightening me. Ah! Oh! Ah! Do -do 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 -do. But to you. Now you look here, Castle. You are very old and very scary, but your wall art is in an atrocious state. And there is nothing you can do to keep me from my sacred task of restoration. Uh, Rarity, if you went back to Ponyville, that means I win, right? Ah! Sean, I know hiding isn't really your sense of humor, but please let this be a joke. Do -do 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 -do. Ah! I don't find you. I won by default, right? Grunt and grumble. Of all the castles in Equestria, this is by far the most ungrateful. Oof! Crackers! Sean! Oh, hope you, hope you two are together. Uh, haunted statues? Creepy armor? Come on, castle. Is that all you got? No! Oh! Oh! You rule the day! Ah! Ah! Yeah! I was only trying to restore ancient art! <laughs> Crackers? What? Crackers! What in the world was that? Oh, you know, <laughs> probably just some more strange sounds coming from this old castle falling apart. Stop pulling around the fool. Besides, yes, sir. Besides, no one falls apart like Gaston. That, that is true. Please. Oh, oh peasant food! Oh, my oh, 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 my mind! It was my best friend. What got into them, Gaston? Probably heroin. The fool oh, I'm God. afraid I've been thinking. A dangerous, dangerous pastime. I know, but those people down there have been turning. And I think we should call the men in white coats. It's okay, Crackers. You're okay. You're okay. Ah! everywhere. <laughs> oh, 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 Crackers! All right, that's enough, everyone. Gaston has arrived and commands you all to stop. Why, right? Must save Crack. Oh, great. Fluttershy, what are you doing here? She's with me. <gasps> Thank you. Nobody uses magic like Gaston, but have you all spent the whole night running around scaring each other like a bunch of baboons? Well, that depends. Hmm, on what, may I ask? On whether or not you're the Pony of Shadows. Gaston, what's the Pony of Shadows? Huh, nobody dismisses myths like Gaston. You see, the fool? That's just an old pony's tale spread out by Belle and her father. I, I, I don't mean to uh, disagree with you, Gaston, but uh, who's playing that? Come on, the fool. We're going to bust some ghosts. <gasps> the fool. It's the Pony of Shadows. Hey, you guys. Did you know I could totally play the organ? Because I didn't. Solid Solid snake. Snake. Check it out. You're the Pony of Shadows. The Pony of what? I thought you were going to ring the school bell all week. Oh yeah. I only had to ring it for like five minutes. They said that was good enough. Ugh. Can't imagine why. Ring ding 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 ding. Ring ding ding ding. Then I decided to throw a finished ringing the school bell party. But I didn't have any bluebells, and you can't throw finishing ringing the school bell party without bluebells. So I went to the Everfree Forest to pick some, but it started to get so chilly. I had to wrap myself up in the tarp I was going to use to gather flowers. And then I saw a Fluttershy and Rarity, but they went into the castle before I could invite them to my party. Mm. Luckily, I followed them inside, so I could help you out with your party. And what party is that? Uh, the every pony come to the scary old castle and hide from each other while I play the organ party. This calls for a celebration. The fool stands still. <laughs> yes, sir. Good shot, Gaston. I swear, 
This is going right back where I found it just as soon as I've returned it to its former glory. Now don't you go running off again. Oh, I can't believe I was so frightened. Guess I'll let my imagination get the best of me. I think we all did. I always let my imagination run away from me. Then it comes back with cake. Well, <laughs> it's good to know that whenever your imagination is getting away from you, a good friend won't can help you rein it in. And no one is more friendly than Gaston. And even though I didn't find anything out about the mysterious chest, I'm glad that I was here to help all of you with my hairy mysterious chest. You certainly did that, Twilight. Yeah. Why weren't you scared? Because Gaston is never scared. Isn't that right, LeFou? Sure right, Gaston. <laughs> oh, that was a good punch. Besides, when reading Belle's diary, it made it hard to be afraid. Because I knew what it was like when she and her father lived here. Knowing something about the past made it easier to deal with my problems in the present, even the scary ones. Because nobody deals with their problems like Gaston. I of course, Gaston! <laughs> oh, you're always right! I just thought of a great idea! Why don't we keep a journal, just like the Royal Pony Sisters? All of us? Why, sure! That way we can all learn from each other, but mostly you'll be learning from me, Gaston. And maybe someday other ponies will read it and learn how amazing Gaston was. <laughs> ah, what a splendid idea! I know what my first entry will be. Dear Diary, I'm glad that Sweetie Bell's legend wasn't true. Me too. Me three. Because that means you two are still tied for most daring pony. <laughs> Shadow ponies. <laughs> How ridiculous is that? Next they'll be talking about some beast in the castle. <laughs> I might be able to settle this up by ending the act. Yes. Yay! Yes. <laughs> Everyone is tired, but no one reads like Gaston, and no one ends an act like Gaston. Welcome back! Except Sean Connery, who ends an act better than anyone. But Rarity ends it more elegantly. So, who No one does a reading like Gaston! No. That's right. It's me. But no one holds the impression- Solid Snake interrupts you. No, ho- Solid Snake. <laughs> Interrupting. Hold on, old Interrupting man. Solid Snake. Hold on, old man. Colonel. It's time to do the impressions Colonel. of the week, so... Toddy, actually, you want to go first then, Todd, since you were... Oof. Mm, yeah, sure. All right, just... Arrow, who's your overall? No, <clears throat> you didn't tell me to get an overall. Damn. Oh, God damn it! everyone cover your eyes. And Alex, mute your mic. Oh. That was annoying. So yeah, everyone cover your eyes and that arrow as in his overall. You know how that works, arrow like Alex used to add an overall too. Nobody told us to add overalls. Wait, yes I did, did I? I told did... you to put on overalls at the beginning of the thing! <laughs> Vanilla. Vanilla. I told you to put on overalls before it's whacking off in the of... trailer. Oh, okay. Everybody up. knows to put on overalls. Shut up! <laughs> okay, so out of the three acts, just basically choose your overall out of those three. Alright, go on arrow. I haven't looked at them yet, so I don't know. Just edit your message and choose overall. I'm, I'm on it, I'm on it. Ugh. There, damn. Okay, so Todd, say your list first. Act 1 was Jesse, Act 2 was Abe, Act 3 was LeFou, and overall, uh, I think it's gotta go to Jesse, because, like, yeah, it's Jesse. <laughs> We finally won something, Jesse. <laughs> oh, how wonderful! Giovanni's uh, gonna be proud. Lufu and Jesse were like tied, though. Like, it was really hard to decide. Yeah, it was like it was just between those two. Okay, my choices: Act One was Meow because that was freaking hilarious and spot on. Act Two, the ad living from Carl was just out of it, and I don't even watch Aqua Teen Hunger Force that often. And of course, Act Three, the Foo, and of course, overall, the Foo. <laughs> okay. Arrow, you want to explain yours next? <coughs> I chose Baby Sinclair for Act 1 because the baby's really funny and I love that show. And Alex did a really good job. And I chose Clementine for Act 2 because Sid was really accurate with her impression. And in Act 3, I chose LeFou for his 
hilarious improv, and that's why I gave him overall two. Sounds like a really young comic book guy. <laughs> <laughs> like when he's like six years old. I got these Worst. two comic books. Worst. It is actually inaccurate. Ever. <laughs> okay, so so far, two votes for Enough Vanilla, one for Sydney. Vanilla, you want to check it next? Okay. Um, so for Act One, I really liked uh, Fluttershy's Richard Nixon. Um, I, th I thought it was pretty. I thought it was pretty. <laughs> so I really liked that. Um, for Act Two, it was kind of hard for me to decide, but yeah, I, I had to go with Mr. Burns because his impression was pretty um, pretty accurate, and he also got into the character as well. And number three, of course, there is no Lavu without Gaston, and that is my overall pick. Gaston, so... Alright, I get to vote for Gaston. Of course I have to vote for you, Gaston! <laughs> if not, I have to punish you, buffoon. Oh my. You'd have to stick your dick in Alex's mouth again. <laughs> Alright, Sydney, who did your votes go to? Okay, in Act 1, I really liked Vance's Gilbert Gottfried. Um, in Act 2, I liked the Lumpy Space Princess impression. I don't remember who did it, but I liked it a lot. Who's Todd? Nice job, Toddy. Hey, thank you. <laughs> and Act 3, Gaston just had me laughing, so I have to give it to Joker for his Gaston. Okay, so me and Vanilla are tied. It's up to Alex. <laughs> so, go ahead, Alex. Who did you vote for? We can already see it, but we're going to do it for the audience because they can't see the Skype chat. Enough. It's loud here. Okay, can someone read for Alex and Todd? Do your Alex okay. impression. <laughs> okay, gonna do my Alex impression. <laughs> Alex isn't from Brooklyn. This Damn. is Alex. Hey, 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 what, what do you, what do you do? Just shut up. What, what you... <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up, everybody. You can't even fucking concentrate. Wow, you can't even. Alex says he's blocking Alex says he's Todd. Alex said he's blocking you for that. GG, <laughs> Todd. <laughs> What the fuck? You blocking me for that? <laughs> I did, uh, what? I, I, I can't even. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Just go. Wow. So, Please. act one. Act one. I really liked Yosemite Sam. Yeah. Act two. I like the Lumpy Space Princess. I think <laughs> the guy who plays it is spectacularly talented. I really like him. He's the wow. most talented person I've ever met. But he act can't three. Do Sean Connery. Same thing. Same thing. Love him. So he can't do an Alex impression. Love him. <laughs> Overall. I think I'm going to have to give it to Toddy for Sean Connery. <laughs> okay, so... So, Alex, how's Brooklyn this time of year? So, me and Vanilla got two points. Sydney, Todd, and Arrow get one point. Hi, Alex. We're so sorry. Well, we give you the... Thanks for... Tr what's, what's it called? The participation hey, trophy. <laughs> My jokes are terrible. So, how do we end this? Ah. Uh -huh. How do we end this? Trifle. And the impressions of the week goes to Joker and Vanilla Beam! Why not? Actually, yeah, we've done that before, so yes. Eh. Maybe does, Vanilla... that mean that we're, does that mean we're still tied for, uh... For, yes, me and you are still got three each for the impressions of the week. Toddy's trailing, tra Toddy's trailing behind, but on one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yes, it's a race to see who is the most impressionable impressionist who can leave an impression on the impressionable. Uh, quick, as usual, we had to quickly say what we thought of the reading. I thought that was a lot of fun. I thought that, went, very, I thought that went really smoothly. Sydney, what did you think? Way too much fun. Alright, Tali, what did you think of today's reading? Just really quick. Yeah, it was fun. Manila? The more the merrier. Aerodynamic? I mean, that was a good reading, and it went really fast, too, so I'm happy about that. Actually, no, that went on the average an hour and a half, because it's an hour and 20 minutes in now. Believe it or not, that hour average is an hour and a half for recordings, if you're ever interested in that, if we run a Blunderbolt's Facts thing. Quiz. Spaghetti. So, facts. so, thank you for joining us this week, or over today, this week, this goes up weekly, but who cares? We're going to thank you for joining us anyway. This has been... RC227 and his miming. No Aerodynamic, also mime. known as DJ DJ. Impressions. Vanilla Beam. Well, off to go bother Pinkie Pie. Hey, that's my job. Oh, wait, my job's Celestia. Tony Harold. 
I am more of a man than a man and a woman put together. <laughs> Sydney also does her butt the gothic. Okay, now that we're done punching vampires, I'm gonna go punch a Pikachu now. And me, Lama5, also known as Joker. Thank you for watching, and good night. Here's Gaston and LeFou playing Castlevania to lead us out. Nobody defeats death like Gaston! <laughs> no right! Gee, my score's higher than yours, Gaston! <laughs> I might actually beat you! <laughs> nice shot, sir! Ah, LeFou, see? Your score was right. After all, nobody gets a high score like Gaston. N no one in the world! <laughs> and nobody hacks Castlevania so that there actually is a high score like Gaston. <laughs> hey, that's my Castlevania game! You're on your own, Gaston! Quick, the foo! Exit stage left, even, like Gaston! I don't want to be put into the cake batter. I will decide what is best for you, Vanilla. <laughs> what? You better! What? Yeah, I uh, will decide what is best for Vanilla. You will decide what is best for the cake. Alright, so... Is Vanilla Vance? Yes. Yeah. Alright. Okay, Zan, I choose Baby Sinclair. Now I really have to go to the bathroom. See you in a minute. Oh my god! Bye-bye, Arrow. Have a good sheet. I have good shit, friend. Yeah. Uh, I have good Twi shit. For Twilight, I want you to do uh, Jesse from Pokemon. Prepare for trouble. And maybe Mish trouble. Oh, oh goddammit. This, this Somebody one. made this. Which one the real one? Yeah. Make it, make it. Jesse, I'm the real Jesse. Of course. Jesse, you, you can, can tell by voice. my pee. You can tell <laughs> by my voice. Yes. When I hear that voice, all I'm hearing is vagina right now. <laughs> oh vagina. my god. Prepare for trouble. Hey, Make it vagina. I don't it like vagina. I love you, vagina, but you can't be doing this. Come Don't on. Don't you be quiet. Don't you got my vagina yet? I want to hear Aku. I want to hear Aku. Vanilla's Aku. Long ago in a distant land. I, Aku, the shape shifting master. Uh, Dr. Draken, I want to hear it. Huh? Dr. Draken. Dr. Draken, I want to hear it. <laughs> I'm just gonna go through all of the newest list. Yeah. One hour later. I wanna hear this one now. Yeah, it's hardly yeah. just right, guys, I gotta th I gotta think of Dragon, shut up. Um Kim! Oh, okay, don't do Dragon. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh so I want I am not the... I'm not good with John DiMaggio yet. Uh, I've gone through every book in Ponyville, fight, and there isn't a single mess <laughs> fuck! There isn't a single fuck to give. I've gone through every book in Ponyville, Spike, and there isn't a single message. Ah, fuck me! There isn't a single message. <laughs> there isn't a single message from the Tree of Harmony. What do we do? What do we do? You saw that right! <laughs> no, 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 hold on, hold on. You I didn't saw say, that I didn't, right. I didn't say that. <laughs> that right was very scary. I don't know, I Vanilla, I choose Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Finally, someone chooses this damn voice! <laughs> yes, good. Alex, I choose. Wait, I thought you chose Scrooge McDuck. I rejected. He it. rejected it. You son of a duck. Literally. <laughs> Lol. Oh, I can only Im I can only imagine how he might feel. Mm. See Clementine in this dark, spooky castle. That's when we're most safe. Besides, if any zombies in here come up, I'll just use the power of the pinhead. Trust me, it works. Shut up, bitch! Why are you hugging over me? You don't hug over me. Because I don't know, Ronnie. Stop freaking Oh my god. 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 Oh my god.
Barry, cut this out. I mean, Chief, cut this out. <laughs> uh, when did Dr. Love pop every whimper? He does oh. now! He just does! I'll, I'll, I'll talk to Cartoon Hangover about that, so, anyways. No one runs like Gaston. Oh. No <laughs> one looks like Gaston. As a specimen, yes, I'm intimidating. Can we get on? Oh. Gaston! Gaston. Ah! Come on, guys. All of my come on, back. Yeah. Joker, come on, let's go. Okay. Ah! Wait a minute, I wouldn't be screaming. Then what will you be doing? I'm just, we're, you and I are walking out on the balcony Twilight. watching everyone else panic. Twilight Spring, oh, okay. Wow, you're gay? I said stealing air, but no one yeah, fucks. but no stealing one air from my mouth. No one fucks <laughs> Alex's mouth like Gaston. Oh my. What's I should know! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put it this way, LeFou. As he was gagging my mouth, I was fucking you in the ass. No one fucks LeFou's ass except Gaston. <laughs> so, up, up. You really you, had to go, go and yeah, we made a recycling. Gaston. We made a recycling bin of, of, of an orgy. <laughs> no yeah, one recycles like Gaston. Not. Everyone no everyone one. loves to fuck LeFou. That's what everyone likes to do. There is no oh, yeah, orgy cool. without Mr. DiMartino. Oh yes, guys, we started a new program, and we need to know how it makes you feel when you feel Gaston's hard throbbing mass. Uh, okay. Sight of you! <laughs> Let's get on with it, guys. Nobody plays with children like Gaston. <laughs> is that the... So the sprawling and shot is Gaston hitting the poof? Pretty much. <laughs> How ridiculous is that? Next, they'll be talking about some beast Us, in a castle. <laughs> Silence, LeFou. Yes, Gaston. Oh, come on. We've got to commit rape on Belle. Yikes. Right behind you. Whoa. Now, LeFou, uh, don't bad. move from that spa. What? Oh, nuts. <laughs> <laughs> His boner was a medius. More like ten. No, no, no. Ten feet. <laughs> you don't get much crazier than that. Yeah, second place. Gee, I wonder. No, don't. Oh, no. No, remove it. No, spoilers. Wow. I, ah. blur wow. I blurred my eyes. I can't I see can't it. I can't see it. I can't wow. see it. That's, wow. Remove That's it. everybody remove press it. enter. Wow. Delete wow. the message. Toddy, Just remove everybody it. Everybody press enter. All right, quick. Everyone press enter now. Quick, go, 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 go.